During 2020, several agencies and groups completed a fish habitat and floodplain restoration project in a dredge mine section of the Yankee Fork of the Salmon River, near the historical mining town of Bonanza City. The project returned the river and floodplain to a more natural location and condition, though within the area where dredging had removed fine material and left behind porous, unconsolidated cobble and gravel. During 2020 and 2021, drought and the porous nature of the dredge tailings caused portions of the project area to go dry when flow at the Yankee Fork gauge dropped below 70 CFS. Water returned to the surface near the downstream end of the project, thanks to some shallow bedrock. However, dry sections of river were obviously concerning to project partners, though not completely unexpected. A 1952 air photo following dredging shows no surface water connection through the project area. An air photo two years later shows the Yankee Fork flowing between the tailings and the mountain, where the channel remained trapped until the restoration project was implemented. During both 2020 and 2021, Project Partners assisted fish with migration through the project area. Sediment deposition during the low spring flows of 2021 resulted in some channel sealing. However, where voids remained between the rocks, water flowed into the ground like it was pouring into a trough filled with marbles. During the spring and summer of 2022, project partners accelerated natural sealing by adding crushed gravel to the project area to help fill the voids between the gravel and cobble. This, in combination with high spring flows and natural sediment movement, resulted in continuous surface flow through the project area during the low flow period of 2022, despite flow at the Yankee Fork gauge dropping to 58 CFS. Project benefits include creation of additional summer and winter habitat for juvenile salmonids, water spreading to reduce water velocities in the river channel, which reduces in-stream erosion. This also gets water into side channels that provide low-velocity, high-productivity areas for fish. Floodplain soaking benefits riparian vegetation planted in the project area. Flooding also transports seeds, nutrients, soil, and organic matter to the floodplain, where they're deposited in the relic beaver ponds and the roughened features designed for that purpose. This deposition replaces fines lost during dredging. It also provides optimal conditions for riparian vegetation growth, which in turn creates an upward spiral of benefits as it moderates floodplain water velocities capturing more sediment and nutrients and resulting in more vegetation growth and so on. The habitat features built into the restored river cause resistance to flow resulting in gravel deposition that creates gravel beds which Chinook salmon and other fish use for spawning. The days of the Bonanza project area simply flushing water and these benefits downstream in a pipe-like fashion are over. Project partners understand that severe drought conditions in the near future could still cause the Yankee Fork in the project area to temporarily go dry. However, natural processes and accelerated natural sealing are undoubtedly moving conditions in the right direction.